All right, guys, today I have a treat for you. This is the 3D printed intake I've made for the Blue Beast. And because it's made of carbon fiber reinforced nylon, I'm kind of limited in how I can smooth this out. So we're gonna use a method called flame polishing. Now, this will be a real treat for you guys who have never heard of flame polishing. It's really simple. It takes a torch and a piece of plastic. Voiding warranties will not be held responsible for stupid things you do at your own house. Hey, we can barely be held responsible for stupid things we do at our house. Alright, now flame polishing is really neat because all you need to do it is a torch and a piece of plastic. And you need a well ventilated area like your living room. If you're me because it's my house and I can do it, damn it. But make sure your wife's not around because it's her house and she might get mad. All right, let me show you. Take a flame, take a piece of plastic, and then right over the top there until it starts to get a little melty, just a little melty. You're not trying to actually melt it all the way. You're just trying to get that top little bit. You don't want it to droop or deform. You just want it to look better. And those flames, they're just burning off the little fibers, little hairs that are stuck on there. But don't worry, this whole process will actually make it stronger. All right, got that a little toasty. A little too toasty, maybe. I don't want to melt it all the way or get it burning like I have there. That's not the goal. The goal is just to get the top part shiny. So it'll bind all the little layers together. All right, let's get the inside a little bit. As you can see, this nylon really resists high temperatures well. I like it, it'll work just fine as an intake manifold. I don't think I'll have any problems with it under the hood. As long as I don't catch it on fire too much right now. I think we're okay though. Oh yeah. All right, good enough. All right, I've taken the torch to it. It's all nice and shiny on the outside. The layers have bonded together a bit better than they were just out of the printer and ooh, it's still hot. And all it took was the torch. Now this method can be used on other plastics. Uh, it can work really well on polishing up acrylic, like if you have a clear acrylic sheet and you want it to be you know, clear again after it's gotten all scratched up. You can use this. You just have to be real careful not to melt it to the point where it's drooping and not to catch it on fire. But it makes pretty decent parts, even with things that are chemically resistant. Now another thing I could have done here is I could have coated the surface with an epoxy or I could have used an ABS glue or another glue just to, you know, firm it all up. But where's the fun in that? You guys know the drill. If you like this video, click like. If you want to see more like it, subscribe. Check out Voiding Warranties on Facebook. And above all, Keep on voiding warranties.